everyone, today I'm going to be showing you how I created this underwater scene using Red Giant Tsunami, Trap Code Particular, and Trap Code Shine. So let's jump right in. We're going to start by creating a new composition. And this is going to be 1920 by 1080, and we're going to make it a 10 second duration. Now we're going to start by creating our background layers. So just go to layer new solid. And this is going to be our tsunami layer. And now we're going to go to effect and then select red giant tsunami. And now under preset, we're going to go to underwater and select the Caribbean underwater and click go. And now we're just going to change some of the settings. Um, first, we're going to start under camera. And we're going to change the tilt to 90. And now under ocean optics, I'm just going to change the blue. I'm going to make it a little bit darker. Now light elevation, I am going to change to 75. Actually, I'm gonna bring it back down to 70. So light elevation will keep it 70. Now under render options, gamma scale, I'm going to change to 0.65. And now we're going to be adding um, trap code shine just to bring some nice light coming in. Um, so what we're going to do is add the shine effect to our tsunami layer. So we're just going to go to effect. And then under trap code, we're going to select shine. So we're going to start by going to colorize and we're going to change the colors. And I'm just going to pick a blue color. And under shadow, I'm also going to pick a blue color. And we're going to change the ray length to 0.5. 
210. And the shimmer amount. We'll bring up to 100. And boost light, we're going to change to 10. And now we're going to change the source point so you can actually see the light shining in. Um, so my composition is 1920 by 1080, so my source point is going to be 1600 and negative 400. And now you can see after we change the source point, you get a nice shine coming through. And now I'm just going to adjust the shimmer. I'm going to bring the shimmer down just a little bit to 75. And opacity, I'm going to leave at 100. Shine opacity, I'm going to bring down to 75. But source opacity, we're going to leave at 100. And I'm going to change the blend mode to screen. And as you can see, as I change the detail, it kind of changes where the light is shining through. So I'm going to leave the detail at 10. And ray length, I'll bring up to 15. Okay, so that's all I'm going to do for now with the shine effect. So now I'm just going to be adding some dust particles using trap code particular. So I'm going to start by creating a new solid. And this is going to be our particles layer. And I'm just going to go to effect, trap code, particular. And then I'm going to go under designer. And under presets, we're going to go to single system presets. 
and we're going to be going under the dust and debris tab. And now we're going to be selecting the sparkle dust. So I'm just going to select that and click apply. And now I'm just going to scale this down so that it's only in the underwater portion of our footage. So now we're ready to add our glowfish. We're going to be using trap code particular, one of the presets. Um, so I'm going to start by creating a new solid. Just go to layer, new solid. And I'm just going to name this fish. And then just go to effect, trap code, particular. And we're actually going to be using a preset that Trapcode already offers. So we're just going to go under Designer. And under Presets, we're going to select the Multiple System Presets. And under Nature, we're going to select School of Fish and just click Apply. And now under emitter size, I'm going to select an individual XYZ. And now I'm just going to reposition this layer. And just make sure you have your select tool selected and the fish layer selected so you can reposition the fish layer. And now under particle, I'm going to change the color. So under color over life. Under presets. I'm just going to select the first preset. And now I'm going to add a glow. So under effects and presets, just type in glow and I'm going to drag the glow effect into the fish layer. And I'm just going to adjust the threshold and radius.
And we're just going to make one last adjustment under Tsunami. We're going to go back to Render Options. And I'm just going to change the Gamma Scale to 0.70. And that's the end of this tutorial. Thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please subscribe um, if you want to see more videos like this.